What does it mean to be a Christian in the workplace? Do you hang your label or your identity as a Christian up at 8 o'clock in the morning and then reclaim it two miles before you get back home? Or when you walk into your workplace daily, is there a real faith, a real disposition toward God that influences everything you do? If I am a Christian, then I don't think it has anything to do with where I am or when I am. Um, that would be like saying, you know, am I conscious? It's part of who I am in every aspect of my life. So being a Christian in the workplace should not be any different than the way I'm a Christian on a Sunday morning um, or when I happen to see somebody from church, you know, when I'm out at a restaurant or when I'm with my family at home. Well, especially so, in the workplace. The workplace is an extension of the world. We're called to preach to all nations and all the world. Um, in Matthew chapter 5, the Bible tells us that we are to be the light of the world and we're to let our, our light shine to everyone. But, uh, what Paul said to Timothy, uh, in one of his final words was to do all his work is for the Lord, not for men. And so in, in my job, I'm treating God as my boss and my employees, I want them to treat God as their boss and to, to live and work in a, uh, a manner that would be worthy and to show integrity as a witness to the community. How does the Christian operate in the daily business world? How do they keep the workday holy? How does a believer show up at 8 o'clock in the morning and leave at 5 in the afternoon and have honored God and glorified God? Probably the biggest challenge that I face is actually not the freedom that I've found here to be able to speak openly when students ask me questions, um, but is actually to have to, um, to respond to um, students' misconceptions or misunderstandings about Christianity based upon really poor examples. Yeah. If you're being obedient to Scripture, it tells us to, to walk in a manner worthy of His, of, of his calling. We want to, um, to be able to do that here at this, at this youth store in a way that would be honoring to Him. And I, I think the challenge is to um, be consistent, um, to be trustworthy, to be a person of integrity, and, um, and to to do that every day to everyone we come in contact with. You know, not taking part of the of the uh, bad jokes and that type of humor, you know what I mean? And a lot of times it's hard to set yourself apart and not be a part of that because you want to be accepted by others, part of our human nature. There is a, a lot of antagonism toward Christians not because we are Christians but because we do such a poor job of representing Christ well. These are the questions that we're going to be answering in this year's Jesus More Than Sunday, How to Keep the Workday Holy. Come, be with us, September the 12th, 2008, Friday evening, to see how you can keep the workday holy.